sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with the second game of my 2005 ALCS replay between the Chicago White Sox and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, Orange County, California, West Coast Angels. And um, if you recall, well, I'm not even going to spoil that for anybody who may not have seen it. Go back and check out the um, the previous game that I did, the previous replay, if you haven't seen it yet. And if you have, then you know what the result of the first game was. And this is game two. Now, in real life, game two was pitched by the White Sox by um, Burley, Mark Burley. But he pitched in game one. And the, I believe the real score of game two, the final score was two to one. I want to say it was two to one. Um, but we'll see what the real score of this game will be. Uh, the pitching matchup for this one, the visiting Angels will send John Lackey to the mound in this game. He was 14 and 5 with a 3.44 earned run average in 2005. He allowed 208 hits in 209 innings and struck out 199 batters and only 13 home runs allowed. He'll be going up against John Garland for the White Sox today. John Garland in 2005 was 18 and 10 with a 350 earned run average and gave up 212 hits in 221 innings and only struck out 115. So with all of that out of the way, uh, the game is in Chicago, so we will get underway with the Angels coming to bat and Sean Figgins, or Sean Figgins, or however you want to pronounce it, is 5'11 on Lackey's, or on uh, Garland's card, and that is to the first baseman. And the first baseman is Polly, Polly Canerco. And he, they get a five. I think that's probably an out. Five, three is an out one, so there's one away. Garrett Anderson is up. He gets a 5-6, and that is a fly ball to left. There's two down. And Vladdy, Vlad Guerrero, gets a 6-9, and that is a fly ball to center field. And the Angels go quickly in the first and get no runs. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Scott Pizednik is up. He gets a 4-5 on Lackey's card and strikes out. Aaron Rowand is the second batter. He gets a 6-5. That's a strikeout. So Lackey just whiffs the first two guys he faces. And Frankie Thomas, the big hurt, comes up. And he gets a strikeout. Unbelievable. Lackey struck out the side in the first inning. And now we are going to the top of the second very quickly. Moving along, moving along. Keep those doggies moving. Benji Molina is up. And he gets a 1-9. That is a ground ball to the shortstop one down. Darren Erstad is up. He gets one five. That's a single. That's going to be the first hit of the game. The first hit for the Angels and the first hit of the game. And so we will make sure we give Anaheim their hit. And Adam Kennedy is up. He gets a 412. That's a ground ball pitcher B. So that's a fielder's choice. Runner still at first and Juan Rivera up. And he gets a 1-5 and that's a strikeout. So the Angels go very quickly and we move along to the bottom of the second with Paul Canerco up. And he gets a 4-3. That's a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder is Garrett Anderson. And he is a three. And that's a one. That's going to be an out. Jermaine Dye is up. That's a two nine. That's a home run one to 19. And it is gone. And Jermaine Dye gets the White Sox first hit and gets the White Sox on the board with a run. 
One down, one run in, A.J. Przinski up. He gets a 4-9. That's a single. Another hit for the White Sox. And let's put uh, the runner there. Joe Creedy is up. He gets a 5-7. That's a ground ball. Second base. Second baseman is, I believe, Kennedy. And he has a 2. That's not going to be... Well, that might be good. That's a 3-2 at second base. Is it, Nope, it's a double play. It is a double play. The White Sox are out of the inning with only their one run. And we go to the top of the third with Juan Uribe. No, that's the White Sox. With Orlando Cabrera up. And that is a 4-7. That's a single 1-7. And that is going to be a line out to the first baseman. One away, Paul Canerco making the snag. Finley up. He gets a 2-5. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Sean Figgins gets a 5-6. And that is a fly ball to left. And the Anaheim Angels go down very quickly. This is very reminiscent of game one. We go to the bottom of the third inning. With the White Sox up 1-0. Juan Uribe now is up, and he gets a ground ball to the third baseman, one away. Tejito Taguchi gets a 2-5, and that's a walk. So he gets a board. There is a man on for the White Sox with one down. And Pizednik is up. He gets a 4-11. That's a ground ball to the first baseman, and that is Erstad, who I believe is a 1, and he is. And that's a 2 so that's going to be a good roll. Two and one. No, it isn't. It's still a double play. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Double play. <laughs> and so the White Sox get out of the inning. Again with, uh, well, very quickly at least. We go to the top of the fourth. And uh, that brings up Garrett Anderson. He gets a 110, which is a ground ball to the first baseman. One away. Vlad Guerrero gets a 6 Four, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. That is Uribe, who was up last inning and is a two at short. And that's going to be a single. So that's a base hit. And there he is. And that's the second hit for Anaheim of the game. Molina comes up. He gets a 1-5. That is a ground ball shortstop. A plus injury. And it's a one, so he's only temporarily injured and remains in the game. A lot of low rolls here today uh, for things that I need to roll the 20-sided die on. Uh, in that case, for the Angels, though, it was very good. Molina gets to stay in the game. and uh, But they were eliminated from that inning. So Aaron Rowan is up, and he gets a 1-7. That's a ground ball third base. One away. Frankie Thomas. It's a 2-9, uh, and that is a strikeout, two down. Lackey pitching well, just gave up the uh, one home run to Jermaine Dye so far, and Canerco gets a 1-9, and that is a strikeout. And so no runs come across for the White Sox there, and we go to the top of the fifth. And let's get that guy off the base. Darren Erstad comes up. He gets a one or a two six, and that is a walk. So now we do have a man on first. Garland walking Erstad to bring up Kennedy, and Kennedy gets one eleven, which is a pop out to second, one away. Juan Rivera is up. He gets a three five. That's a ground ball shortstop double play. The White Sox pull the double play off, and. There are no runs coming across for the Angels there. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. one nothing White Sox. Jermaine Dye up. He gets a 1-5. That's a strikeout. Nobody can get anything here. Garland and Lackey are pitching outstanding ball right now. A.J. Przinski gets a 6-12. That's a ground ball to the pitcher. Two away. And Creedy comes up, and he gets a 1-10, which is a line out to second. So both pitchers pitching a masterful game. And um, Lackey on the losing end of it so far just because of a 
solo shot home run by Jermaine Dye. Orlando Cabrera comes up, gets a 2-6, that's a ground ball to third, one away. Steve Finley comes up, he gets a 4-8, that is a pop out to shortstop, two away. And Sean Figgins gets a 6-10, and that is a catcher card, X, that's Brzezinski, he's a 4 at catcher, that is a 14. And that is going to be a pass ball followed by foul out, and so... The Angels are retired there. And we go to the bottom of the sixth. one nothing White Sox. Uribe comes up. He gets a 4-10. That is a fly ball to center. That is Finley. He is a 2. That is a 9 and a 2. Is that going to be something? That is going to be a double. Let me just double check that. But I think he is, or I think he is a two in center field. He is. So that was a legit double. Another hit for the White Sox. <coughs> Man at second. No outs. Tejito to Gucci. They're going to sack. I don't like sacrificing, but it's good. It works. It moves him over to third. And now there is one out with a man 90 feet away, and the Angels will bring the infield in for Bidzednik. He gets a 3-6. That's a walk. So runners are at the corners with only one out. Aaron Rowand is up. He gets a 4-9. That is a single, and it drives in a run. So another hit by the White Sox. And another run. And the score is 2 nothing White Sox. Runners at first and second. One out. Thomas up. And he gets a 2-7, which is a strikeout. And there's two down. And Canerco comes to the plate and gets a 6-6. Six, six, and that is a strikeout. So Lackey gets out of the mess. But he allows another run to score. We go to the top of the seventh. Garrett Anderson is up. That is a 2-9, which is a double. Garrett Anderson just rips a double down the left field line. And uh, that is the Angels' third hit. Vlad Guerrero up. He gets a 6-12. That is a pop-out to third base. One down. And that is 274 Molina, which is a fly ball left field, two away. And Erstad is up. He gets a 1 7. That is a single. And they're going to see if they want to send the runner. And the runner is Garrett Anderson. He's a 1 to 12. They're going to hold. But that is another hit for the Angels. And runners at the corners with two down and Adam Kennedy up. And he gets a 5-10. And that is a ground ball third base. That's Creedy. I believe he's a two. He is a two at third. That is a 14. Probably going to be an out. And it is, and it is a double play. But it, it doesn't have to be a double play because uh, there were two outs already. But anyway, the Angels... Despite threatening there, don't get any runs. And we go to the bottom of the seventh with the White Sox up 2 nothing. Rivera gets a 5-5. That is a fly ball. One away. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, wrong. Wrong team. Wrong team. 5-5 five, five is a strikeout for Jermaine Dye, one away. Przinsky comes up, he gets a 1-8, and that is a pop-out to second. Right between two big things, but he's out, and Creedy is up, and he gets a 3-10, which is a home run, 1-16. to 16. And it is not, I was all ready to make the home run sound, the home run sound, but he gets a double, he does get a double, and that is another hit. For the White Sox and a man at second with two down. 
and your rebay up. And he gets a 6-7, and that is a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 2, and that is an out. So, they don't get a run. They come close, but it didn't quite make the, over the wall, and we go to the top of the 8th. The Angels up and uh, up at the plate, but down in the score, 2 nothing. Or 3, is it 3? No, it's 2 nothing. With Juan Rivera up. He gets a 6-11. That is a walk. So Rivera's aboard. And that brings up Cabrera. And Cabrera gets a 2-8, which is a pop-out to short, one away. Steve Finley up. He gets a 6-2. That is a walk. So Garland losing a little bit of control here. And they are going to get somebody up in the bullpen. And that somebody is going to be Neil Cotts. So Neil Cotts up in the White Sox bullpen with Sean Figgins up. And that's a 5-5, which is a fly ball center field. That's two down. And Garrett Anderson up at the plate. 2-12 is a line out into as many outs as possible, which is only one. And the Angels, despite a little bit of a... Uh, uh, what looked like it could be a rally, end up with no runs. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. And a 2 nothing White Sox lead. Tejito Taguchi up 4-9 as a single. So that is a hit. Scott Podzednik comes up. He gets a 6-9. That is a strikeout. One away. Aaron Rowand up. He gets a 3-5, which is a single. The Sox have runners at first and second with one out, and they also got their sixth hit of the ball game. Frank Thomas up. He gets a 3-8. That is a ground ball A plus injury. That is an 11, so he's probably going to be injured. Two games. Frankie, Big Frank is going to miss two games. But we don't worry about it at the moment. And there's two down. And uh, can air go up? And he gets a 6-9, which is a strikeout. So no runs come across, but they, the White Sox lose a key player in Frank Thomas. We go to the top of the ninth. And um, the White Sox will bring in Neil Cotts to pitch. And Vlad Guerrero is up at the plate. So they're going to the heart of their lineup, which is a good sign for them. 2-8. That's a pop-out to short, though. One away. Benji Molina gets a 4-10. And that is going to be a third base X. That's Creedy. He's a 2. That's probably something. It is a one base error by Creedy. So there's one down. And there's one on. And uh, the air was made by the White Sox. Uh, Erstad is up. He gets a 5-7. That's a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 2. I believe that's Taguchi. And I believe Taguchi is a 2. And he is. That is a 20 and a 2 at second. And that's going to be an out 1. So the runner moves to second. But there's now 2 outs. And who steps up but Adam Kennedy. Now, Adam Kennedy did hit 300 and have a 354 on base percentage. So they are going to let him hit. And that is a 6-3. It's a fly ball to left. It's up in the air. Jermaine Dye. No, that's not Jermaine Dye. It is, in fact, um, it is Pizednik, and he's a 2 He's under it, and that's a nine! No, no! That is going to be a double two. So, Pizetnik can't get to the ball, and that's another hit for the Angels. And a run comes in. And now they have a man at second with two down, and Juan Rivera up. And he gets a 2-8, and that's a ground ball shortstop right in his column. And that will be the end of the game. Neil Cox finally na nails it down. 
and the White Sox win game two by the score of two to one on six hits and one error with the Angels getting one run on five hits and no errors. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.